This example illustrate how design sensitivity analysis can be used to improve the design of a rubber bushing. The objective is to alter the bushing geometry to lower the maximum axial stress, thus increasing the service life. The bushing the blue one, consists of inner and outer steel tubes that are bonded to a central rubber cylinder. Two design parameters are considered for the design sensitivity analysis, the thickness, T, and the fillet radius, R. Design sensitivity analysis shows how sensitive the maximum axial stress is to a change in the design parameters, R, T. There are a few steps in order to evaluate design response axial stress. Respect to design parameters are T. Creating and analyzing the original model. Coupling the inner surface of the rubber bushing to a control point. Apply axial load to control point 10 00 colon 01 colon 53 comma 08 to 00 colon 01 colon 58 comma 910 bond the outer surface of the rubber bushing. Just write the input file. Step 2, creating parameter shape variation. Make a copy from the original model model 2. The new change respect to the variation of parameter R apply in model 2 in part module. The applied changes indicate the variation of parameter R, so the sketch preferably should be fully defined or constrained in a way that changing the dimension become fully under control. Use edit dimension value to change the design parameter. The sequence of commands is appropriate for the creation of a shape variable associated with a parameter R. In the command the name of original part instance, the modified part instance, original and modified model name and the name of the file to which the data lines of the shape variation option will be written. In After modification the whole command line should be pasted into command line area. To compute the shape variation, the mesh of model 1 is mapped to the changed geometry of model 2 and then smoothed.
the whole step should be repeated for the parameter t2200 colon 07 colon 50 comma 418 to 00 colon 08 colon 00 comma 598 to file parameter shape variation dot imp are created in working directory indicating the nodal movement related to the specific parameter Step 3, Modification on Input File There are some changes that should apply in original. In file which created in step 1, in first line you should define your parameters and give them initial value. Then it should be clear that which ones is your design parameters. In this case, both parameter are design parameter. Parameter shape variation should be added in part or part instance module. For both parameters the specific int file shall be assigned.
in the end of step command DSA keyword shall be added. In history data module should define which response are requested. An element set which contain all element and model should be chosen. This element set shall be defined in first step in assembly module. Stress should be the design response. Axial stress and part of it. Run new input file. See the result of static analysis. As it can be seen, the maximum value of excyxal stress is in fillet area. The sensitivity of axial stress S22 in those elements should be consider which maximum axial stress seen. The value of maximum axial stress and the value of sensitivity of both design parameter D underscore S underscore R and D underscore S underscore T, respect to axial stress will save in a file. The value of sensitivity for both parameter are written in report file. As it can be seen the value of D underscore S underscore T the variation of S22 respect to design parameter T and bigger than D underscore S underscore R. It means that, changing the value of the parameter T will result to bigger reduction in axial stress in comparison with parameter R. The value of D underscore S underscore T e equals 0 0.33 and S22 max equals 0 0.838. T1 initial value of T equals 15 so if we want 10% reduction in maximum S22. T equals 15.254. The analysis shall be done with new parameter T equals 
Check the value of maximum axial stress in new model. Reduction of axial stress is less than the goal of 10%. This is expected because of the nonlinearity of the problem. This process should repeat which is essentially an optimization problem. The tools for repeating the whole process is using the scripting in a box with infinitive design parameter. 